All right, for some of you out there who just seem, you just simply just cannot get it. You can't get it. You can't get it. You can't get it. Now, listen to me. I'm not talking to you people who do get it. And you are the ones who are making moves, whether they be small or large. You're making moves. You're taking the advice. You can see the light at the end of the tunnel. This message is not for you. For all you people out there who seem to be showing somewhat concern and you can't understand what I'm saying, let me try to break this down to you in simple terms. The reason why I tell you to get out of debt and stay out of debt, pay off your debts as quick as you can, as much as you can, start making moves because it's all about control. You know, just as well as I know, that 90% of Americans are one paycheck from starving. Two to three paychecks from being booted and kicked out on the street because we don't own anything. And I'm trying to get us to change that because as long as you continue to keep playing in this system the way that they have set the rules and the regulations for you to play, you know what's going to ultimately happen? You're the one that's going to be left with the short end of the stick. I'm telling you what your past... Think about this. Do you think that your pastor is going to sit up there and tell you to get out of debt, stay out of debt, if he is in debt? No. That's just like a, um, a, a pastor that is um, doing drugs. He's not going to preach on drugs. He's going to preach around it and, and all this other stuff, but he ain't going to tell you the stuff that is necessary. I know that the message is unpopular, but yet it is necessary. The reason why I'm saying you had better, because you're going to see the wisdom of it, whether you like it, understand it or not. It makes no difference. It is none of my business whether you take heed to what I'm saying or not. But there are some intelligent people out there who know how to think and who can see the wisdom whenever I talk about certain subjects, what I'm giving to them. They get it. They understand it. They can see it. If you ain't one of them, why you even sit here listening to the videos anyway? Why are you even over here monitoring me since you're not going to do anything that I'm suggesting? Remember, I'm a pastor first, and that's the reason why I'm here, because I really, truly have a heart to where I care genuinely about people. And I know that if somebody like me don't get out there and say something that's going to stimulate the thoughts in your mind, they won't be stimulated, and neither will your mind Go that way. You won't, you won't even be able to even process a thought that way because it will never enter into it. And that's the way the system is. This system does not teach us to use critical thinking. Oh, it teaches us how to get mad. It teaches us how to get upset. It teaches us to act a fool and cut a fool. And, but, hey, and it also teaches us on the flip side that anytime someone displays passion for something, passion then they were, oh, look at him, look at him, look at him. No, look at you. Look at you for being a fool for falling for this system. Do you know and do you realize how many families that are living in tent cities? No, you don't know. You know the reason why you don't know? Because there's a media blackout of it, a media blackout. The, the media controls the amount of information that you receive. They determine what you're going to hear and what you're not going to hear. I'm trying to tell you the things that they never even present to your mind so you can make an informed decision. So, hey, you want to stay in debt? It makes you happy. Don't worry. Be happy. But in the end, do not come looking for me. Do not come looking for me. Because you know what? Fools make a mock at sin. That's what they do. Because I ain't going to be here to help you. I promise you that. You better start making a way and taking wise counsel and start changing and making changes in your life because I'm telling you what, if you're in debt, a whole bunch of debt, you are a slave. Remember, one to three paychecks from the street. And don't worry, your family, who you think they love you so much, who are enthralled with you, at least they act like it. They act like it. You're going to find out, you're going to see, when you all have to stack up like sardines, and all those spirits get to flying inside that house and stuff. And then next thing you know, you're at each other neck and throat and stuff and getting mad and carrying on. And somebody's going to do something and cut a fool. And you're going to find out where you're going to be with family who so-called love you. You're going to be right out on the street. I promise you that. I promise you that. So, 
hey, I'm just I'm just trying to do my part to help wake up people who may have a heart to hear. And by the way, I'll be on free. Uh, let me see. Uh, what 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 is that again? Wide awake news. Wide awake news tonight. I believe it's 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. Wide awake news tonight. I include a link down here below if you want to listen. I think um, myself and Eric Lovely are going to be talking about family. I believe that's what we're going to talk about. Because um, that's what I want to talk about. I want to talk about family. Um, but we'll see. I hope that y'all encourage some way, somehow. Uh, do the right thing. And oh yeah, by the way, that stupid woman that set up as breastfeeding that dog. I didn't see this headline above. I just saw it in Dining Hall. She said, I bottle fed my children, but I breast fed my puppy. Is that not sick? Do you know that there are laws on the book concerning bestiality? I wonder, now wait, wait a minute, where are the law enforcement officials? Where's the government, the DCS, DHS, where are they at? I, I wonder, are they going to beat this woman's door down and take her children from her for practicing bestiality? Chances are, won't nothing be said. You know why? Because we are corrupt and we are immoral. As a society, we have lost our way. We don't know right from wrong, wrong from right. And as a matter of fact, we get mad and we get upset anytime somebody has the audacity to even speak the truth. 